Alright guys, what's up? Exo Vendetta here. I'm not going to waste much of your time, I'm just going to get straight to the point. The video today is, are they going to remaster Black Ops 1 and 2? Or just separate, like they're just going to make 1, or they're just going to make remastered 2. But the reason I say those is because I think the theorists out there that keep saying it's World at War, you can just shut up now because it's obviously proven not. They don't even show the gameplay of World at War in this. They show the multiplayer of Black Ops, they show the cutscenes of Black Ops 2, and they show multi uh, zombies and stuff from Black Ops 1 and 2. So honestly, if they're going to remaster any game, it'll be Black Ops 1 and 2. And the reason I say that th this is because this trailer right here is proof right there that they're showing old past footage of these games, and they don't do that for no reason because we proved we it was proven with modern warfare remastered right that they remastered that and showed gameplay of the cutscenes and the story of that and stuff so it's not far-fetched or technically impossible that they would remaster these it just makes more common sense since black ops 2 is i mean 4 is coming out black ops 2 is still a huge hit um even after all these years and people have been begging for something like it so Let's go back a little while ago on Twitter when somebody was asking for something that was like the old Call of Duties, like Black Ops 1 and 2. And there was a tweet from one of the people at Activision, and it, he said on Twitter, Okay, get Black Ops 1 and 2. Or he didn't say get, but he just said, got it, Black Ops 1 and 2. Now that doesn't mean that he meant go get those and play those instead. What if he meant that they're already on making a remaster of those, and he said done? Because he did say done in the tweet. I do remember that. He said Black Ops 1 and 2. Done. So when I read that tweet a while ago, it made me think again after seeing this trailer. Like, what if they were telling us the whole time that Black Ops 1 and 2 are making a comeback and they're going to remaster them? I think a fair price for two remasters would be 120 bucks, Just because of the simple fact that it was 80 for Modern Warfare, and I know most likely if they remastered just Black Ops 1 or just Black Ops 2, it'd be an $80 bundle with Black Ops 4. But let's say that we get lucky and get two remasters with Black Ops 4, a $120 or $110 price tag would be acceptable for me. Like I said though, I don't know what pounds and euros are in other countries, but you guys can figure that out on your own, but for the US speaking, I think that 120 or 110 would be a fair price for three games, especially two huge classics. Um, also, you know, I think that Black Ops 1 and 2 is most likely because the trailer is only showing them and not World at War, and I know a lot of people out there are probably going to get triggered from me saying this, but I think it's not going to be World at War, guys. I'm sorry. I don't think they're going to... Uh, I don't think they're going to remaster that. Maybe in the future, in the next one. Maybe if they make World at War 2, then they'll remaster World at War for that. It would make more sense that way. Uh, but for Black Ops 4, with them showing the Black Ops 1 and 2 gameplay, I think it's kind of obvious and fair to say that if they remaster any Call of Duties, we should start looking at these guys. It just kind of adds up and makes a lot of sense. And since they've already proven it with Modern Warfare that it is possible and they're willing to remaster classics, uh, I think that that shows that they're, well, one, they're desperate to get back on top because they've had a slackish kind of few years. Like Infinite Warfare, eh. Advanced War Warfare was okay. It was okay, yeah. Black Ops 3, it was only got money because of the fact that the Black Ops title was on there. But other than that, the futurism was kind of dying out then too. Uh, the fact of the matter still uh, lays out though that Black Ops 1 and 2 are still the most hugest Call of Duties to date, period. It's not me just saying that as a statement or an opinion. Actually, Black Ops 2 is the most like bought Black uh, Call of Duty in all of Call of Duties. Black Ops 2 makes the most money. Still to this day, people still play on it on old gen, like PS3 and 360. So, that being said, it just seems right to move it up and bump it up to the PS4. Because who doesn't want an extra bit of cash? And they know damn well that it would work with today's generation. We've been asking for these types of games for a while, so why not just get the originals with a new game? I think that that could work out, and I think that it makes a lot of sense. Now, I don't think it'll be in the same predicament that it was back when Infinite Warfare came out because they kind of needed Modern Warfare's remaster. Black Ops 4, on the other hand, doesn't. Like I said with Black Ops 3, people got it because of the name, because they had hope. I have hope for Black Ops 4, but that's because I'm a diehard Black Ops fan, you know? 
all the way. So the same thing goes. They would make money regardless. I think the, the different reason they're remastering these or remastering at least one of these is because we've been asking for it. And it would be good uh, business and um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? A advertisement. Yeah, it'd be advertisement gold. And advertisement gold is when you actually use what people are asking for and you use it to make more off your product. I mean, don't you think that they wouldn't, you know, don't you think they would actually bump up the price to 80 or 120 for one or two remasters if they knew you guys would buy it? I think business-wise, it's a smart move. And gameplay and gamer-wise, I think it's a smart move to pre-order and ahead of time. Because I think Black Ops 4 will either do one of two things. Bring back the franchise or just be another great Black Ops title. Because Black Ops is amazing, you know? Um, and yes, maybe I'm being a little, you know, biased. I'm biased. I don't know. I'm Whatever. My mind's everywhere, so I'm sorry if I use the wrong context. I don't know if I meant unbiased or bias, but um, I'm just basically saying that I'm a huge fan of Black Ops, and this trailer made me think of, you know, that tweet and the remaster of Modern Warfare and just the time that we live in. I think it would be time for a remaster of Black Ops 1 or 2 or both. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think it's just, you know, baloney or... Do you think they're going to remaster them? And what, what Black Ops do you want them to remaster? Personally, if I, they could only do one, I would hope it's Black Ops 2. That was my favorite. But if it's Black Ops 1, I'm not going to complain either. But let me know, guys. As always, hope you enjoyed. Exo.